And Debbie is along this morning with a couple of friends. Hello, puppies. Adorable friends. Who's going to watch they? us, right, with I all know, these really. cute puppies? And some advice on puppy-proofing your home, which is really, really important. You look at this little face, yes. and you think, how could this little face get into any kind of trouble? But they get, they right? look for trouble because they just don't know any better. Yeah. And by the way, those 113 pennies mm -hmm. that Isis swallowed, we have 113 pennies oh, right here. Man. Can you imagine all those pennies, pennies in that poor puppy's uh, GI tract? Terrible. Yeah. But it's, there's a lot of other things around the house besides change that you really need to be aware of. It's sort of like baby proofing a house. It's right? exactly like baby proofing. You want to watch out for foods, you want to watch out for chemicals, and you want to watch out for plants. So mm. I have examples of each of those right. here before us. Let's start with some foods that you might not know about. Right. Garlic and onions have a sulfide in them that can cause anemia in dogs. And even if you give them food from your table right. that's seasoned with garlic Ooh, and onions, smart. it can be harmful okay. to your dog. Avoid right. that. Grapes and raisins can cause kidney damage, so you want to keep them plus it's a choking hazard for the puppies. Okay, all right. Take a look at this. Coffee and tea does have caffeine, which is not great for your puppy, but right. more importantly, you put this in the trash can, right? Your right. used coffee grounds. Sure. The puppy gets in the trash can, eats uh, all of this. This uh, could be a medical emergency. Now we know about chocolate. We know about chocolate, but what's most dangerous is the dark chocolate. Okay. It's just a half right. ounce per kilogram of dog right. can cause serious damage in your and dog. And gum? And sugar-free gum that has xylitol, which is very good for us for preventing cavities, right. but this can cause a severe dip in the blood glucose oh. as well as liver damage. Who knew? A very knew? little bit of the sugar-free gum. Certain plants you want to be very careful You really want to keep all plants away from your dogs because they're mm. going to chew on everything, put them up high so they can't get away. Right. We brought a few that are particularly toxic, the sago palm, mm -hmm. the oleander, which is right behind us. It's beautiful, but if right. they chew a few of these leaves, mm. they're over in a minute. And we talk about this every fall, but people, you know, with, with their cars, you yes. have, uh, if you have antifreeze coming out of your car and it's on your driveway and your dog uh, laps it up, it up it's this can cause really severe problem. enough kidney damage. The ethylene glycol right. in antifreeze can so cause severe enough kidney damage right. to kill the dog within 24 hours. Oh, this terrible. is serious business. So when you're going to puppy-proof your house, just use same of the, some of the same tools you would for a baby, right? Anything that you would use for a baby, you would use to puppy-proof your house. Mm -hmm. So we have outlet covers over there, mm -hmm. cabinet locks, toilet locks, because you want to keep the puppy out of the toilet for hygiene as well as aesthetic reasons. Um, bundle up all your electrical cables. I can't oh, tell see. you how many veterinarians oh, right into those treat things. burns to the mouth yeah. of a puppy because they chew through a wire and oh, get electrocuted. Terrible. And baby gates. If you right. have an expensive $10,000 rug, as I right. know you do in your living room, <laughs> baby gate the room so the puppy just can't get in there. Whew, trashing it up. Dr. <laughs> Debbie Turnerbell, as always, thank you so much. Sure.